Thank you, Chair Garcia and Vice Chair Dolly, members of the committee, and particularly Mr. Bloom, uh, as well as the staff of this committee and the Committee for Natural Resources for preparing this hearing. Uh, as we see all around us, uh, with the variable weather and with the exacerbation of issues caused by the current crisis, California has a series of issues that are urgent and need to be addressed, and many among them are fire risk reduction, water reliability, climate change, and supporting the economies in underserved regions of the state. This bill sets forward a path to deal with those problems at scale and deals with them in their linked fashion. It will also have significant impact addressing underemployment in a critical region of the state that stands out both in-state and nationally for underemployment. This is another drought year. It is a year where we are expecting to have a prolonged and intense fire season again. In 2018, which was another major fire year, four of the state's five mega fires were in this region, causing billions of dollars to address and tens of billions to address in terms of recovery. Fires directly impact people and communities as well as our water supply. There are good on the ground efforts to address this, but they are too few, too small, and too slow to effectively deal with this problem at the scale that is needed. AB 2693 establishes a coordinated interagency office and team to address these issues with direct responsibility and regulatory authority in these watersheds above the dams that serve as the core of the state's water system. It is to be supported by an advisory council which includes deep on the ground local experience, knowledge, and interests, and that is initially described only in the bill at present as the author has identified he's very willing to work with additional interests and add them into that. Everybody loves our watersheds, but the unfortunate reality is there is no entity that has responsibility to take care of those watersheds. This bill addresses that. It sets or will set clear targets and establish responsibility and accountability for restoring these watersheds to their best possible function. It is to be housed at the State Water Board because that entity has both the experience of dealing with large infrastructure projects and the ability to handle the kinds and scale of financing that will be needed to make this effort come to pass. Their extensive experience with the State Revolving Funds, with the Clean Water Drinking Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act, uh, position it to help take advantage of emerging federal opportunities for economic recovery funding and partnership programs that are both on economic recovery and for water infrastructure. It's a very timely bill addressing an urgent need to reduce fire risk, to enhance our water security and reliability in the state. Water reliability is indeed the lifeblood for much of the economy in the state. It sets forward a new paradigm and path forward addressing both short-term and long-term risks and it will increase the effectiveness of our investments and the effectiveness of the activities on the ground. It will increase safety, water reliability, and move forward our climate change adaptation efforts. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.